Apparently, the American Basketball Association has expanded to Calgary. This is news to me, and I imagine to many of you as well. The team is called the Calgary Crush, and they will begin play in the ABA next fall. For now, though, they're playing a handful of exhibition games, including one last night in Lethbridge. The Crush took on the University of Lethbridge Pronghorns. We'll pick things up in the first quarter of play. High Dash Bardwa with the inside give to Robbie Sahota for the easy lay-in. Now the Horns inbound deep for Logan Ryder. They got two of their own a very quick pace early on in this contest. Then the Horns started to pull away a bit. Ryder from the outside knocks down the easy tray. Less than a minute later, it's deja vu. Ryder again for three. Horns were up by eight at that point. Crush trying to answer back. They work it around to Bardwa, who elected to shoot. Good decision because that's good for three. Now how about this uh, going hard to the net? Daryl Cooper drives the lane, puts a pretty good shoulder in there and hits the bucket. Horns keeping the pressure on. Morgan Deuce channeling Michael Jordan with the pump fake. Nice move for the two points. Late in the fourth quarter, Crush keeping things close. Mike Myers with the baseline triple. That keeps his team within four, but the Horns just had an answer all night long. Cooper equal to the triple task. He hits it for three. The university team knocks off the semi-pro squad. This is an upset of sorts. 87-83 the final score. After the game, head coach Dave Adams admitted he was a bit surprised by the outcome. Uh, I'm absolutely, totally, 100% surprised, and I'm just so pleased and proud of, uh, of the guys. Uh, I thought they did a terrific job on both ends of the court, and surprisingly, even though you give up a score in the 80s, but defensively, they were real solid tonight. Man, I mean, I think I knew we could do it. It's just about moving the ball, getting up on the, uh, the older guys, you know, pushing the ball, just keeping it at a fast pace and executing our plays. Well and the Horns will return to action in the new year in Canada West Plate.